people refer to that drumming as linear playing. Um, the groove that you can play linear fills and linear grooves. We're going to start with a linear groove. And it's going to be an eighth note subdivision. One and two and three and four and. And we're going to subdivide those eighth notes. We're going to chop them up into a group of three and a group of five. So all eighth notes, the first three notes are hi-hat, snare drum, bass drum. And then the five notes are going to be hi-hat, snare drum, hi-hat, bass drum, bass drum. So hi-hat, snare drum, hi-hat, bass drum, bass drum. So to put it together, it's one, one, two, four, one, two, one, two, four. Counting them as eighth notes. a lot we can do with this. Once you play it a bunch of times, you'll hear it as a mel for the melody that it is. Notice I'm adding some accents. I would uh, have you, I would invite you to practice accenting as much as you can, all the different beats. Um, with that, accent the one. Accent uh, the two. Etc., etc. Work on different speed. A way to practice it, too, is to give yourself a form. Um, so I'm going to practice it, once, once you're comfortable with it, practice it eight times with this orchestration, and then practice it eight, eight times with substituting in the cross stick for where the snare drum was. So... a form is another way to get it inside of you, internalize it, and it's also really helpful when you go to play with a band to put it in context. If you have to play a groove eight times and it goes to a different section, I would also recommend playing it on the cymbal. Same thing, you can give yourself a form of, I'm going to do it eight times with this orchestration, eight times with this orchestration, eight times with this orchestration. Eight times with this. So I'll do a little example of that right now, just four, four measures each, four times each, with those four different orchestrations. One, two, Enjoy it and get something out of it and stay tuned. Thank you.